Hello and welcome to Code Pro, your source for helpful and effective programming tutorials. Today we are going to be continuing the iOS tutorial series and we are going to learn how to make a super simple camera application. And let's go ahead and take a look at what we're going to build today. Let's go ahead and open our sample application. And I'm actually running this on my real device. I'm not running this on a simulator because simulators do not have access to the camera hardware. So I have one button on the bottom to take a picture. I'm going to tap that. And now our camera has been brought to the front. And I have Mr. Android on my desk here. And I'm going to go ahead and take a picture of him now. I'll use that photo. And we're back at... <laughs> Our starting screen here with Mr. Android right in the front and center. Let's, let's go ahead and dive right in. Open up Xcode and create a new single view iOS application. And when you do, uh, we need to quickly fix one thing in the property list. So go on over into the info.plist file. And if you're on iOS 10, this is something we'll have to do. Uh, I, Apple uh, made it so that we have to have a key basically describing that uh, we are wanting to use the camera uh, and we have to provide a description of why we need it. So go into your info property list and create a new entry and you're going to look for privacy camera usage description and you'll want to enter a value in there. It doesn't really matter what you put. I uh, just put something we must be allowed to use the camera. Uh, you can put whatever you want but uh, this is just so we can get access to the hardware and the app will not crash. Uh, so let's go ahead and get our interface set up. Let's go into the main storyboard and this is a super simple interface. Go over to the right hand side and uh, go select your object library and let's look for a UI image and drag that onto the view controller. And let's also look for a UI button and we will also drag that onto our view controller. I'm going to just go ahead and position the elements appropriately. I'm going to change this text to take picture. And I'll go ahead and... On the image view, we want to change our content mode. You'll notice that when you go over here in the attribute inspector, it's set by default to scale to fill. We want to use either aspect fit or aspect fill. I'm going to use aspect fill, but that will maintain the aspect ratio of the image that you take. Uh, when it comes back from the camera and it won't look distorted and it won't look funny. So make sure you set that to the appropriate content mode. I'm just going to go ahead and make this a little larger. I'm going to center it in our view controller. Uh, and then I'm going to add some constraints. Go over to resolve auto layout issues. Reset to suggested constraints. Same thing for our button at the bottom. And we should be all set there. Uh, let's just go ahead and set up some quick uh, IB outlets for these controls in our view controller and then we'll start coding out our camera. So open your assistant editor, get your view controller on the right and the storyboard on the other side and hold down the control key on, on the image view. Uh, hold down control, click and drag into your view controller. I'm just going to call mine image view. And I'm going to do something similar for the button. I'm going to select it, hold down the control key, click and drag and I'm going to create an action, uh, which will just be take picture. Okay, so we're all set up there. And uh, the there are really two ways to go about taking pictures in iOS. There's the simple way, and then there's the not so simple way. For this tutorial, we're doing it the simple way using the system defined camera. However, using AV Foundation, you can access all of the necessary APIs to create your own custom camera where you can define the layout, the zoom functionality, how what happens when you rotate the device and have full control. So in most cases, using the UI image picker controller, which is what we are going to use, will solve the problem. However, if you have a really custom layout or really custom design, you will have to act, you'll have to create your own camera, which we'll go ahead and do at a later tutorial in the future. So let's go ahead back into our view controller, go back into the standard editor here and uh, select our code file. And let's go ahead and start building this. The first thing I'm going to do is create our uh, property for the controller. So let uh, image controller equals UI image picker controller. 
And I'm actually just going to rename this Picker Controller. Sounds like a little bit, bit better of a name. Okay, so we are all set there. Uh, let's just go ahead and take a look at this class really fast. I'm going to command click into it. Uh, and we can see that it actually derives from UI Navigation Controller. Uh, and it has some properties that are going to be of some use for us, uh, particularly the delegate and the source type. We can actually use a UI Image Picker Controller to look up photos as well as use the system camera to take pictures, which is what we are doing in this tutorial. So let's go ahead and set those up. Uh, let's go set that now. Um, picker controller dot, uh, what was that type content? Let me just, I actually forgot the type. <laughs> the source type is what we want. Dot source type equals UI image picker controller source type dot camera. And you'll see there's photos library, there's saved photos album. So we have other options there for looking up photos, but we, we want the camera. Uh, now we need to set the delegate. So picker controller dot delegate. And there's something, something, something here we got to see. There's two delegates we need to, or two uh, protocols we need to conform to. One is the picker controller delegate and one is on the navigation uh, control, the navigation controller delegate. So when we set this to self, um, and we go down below, we're going to create an extension. to implement the UI image picker controller delegate functionality that we need. But you'll notice that that's not enough. Uh, and the reason that's not enough uh, will be shown in just a second here. When I command click on the delegate, uh, if it will show it to me in Swift, let me go into the class file here. You'll see that there's both image picker controller delegate and navigation controller delegate. We have to implement both, otherwise we will get a compile warning. So even though we're not going to use anything from the uh, navigation bar delegate, I still have to go ahead and, and implement it. So view controller, UI navigation bar, or navigation controller delegate. Okay. So with those implemented, let's go ahead and take a look at our have extra space here. Let's take a look at the methods we need to implement here. Did finish picking media with info and image picker controller did cancel. We'll go ahead and implement those now. <clears throat> image picker controller did cancel and did finish picking media with info. So over here, when we close out of the UI image picker controller, this method will get called. So we can just print the camera has been closed. And over here is when a we've we've confirmed that we want to use the photo that we just have taken a picture of. Uh, and if we want to assign it to a UI element, we can do that here. Uh, but the first thing we have to do is dismiss the picker. So picker dot dismiss animated true completion handler nil because I won't be doing anything here. In the case you're wondering where that comes from, it's passed back as a parameter to this function in the did finish picking media with info. So we'll go ahead and dismiss the picker controller and then we will get access to the photo that it contains. So we will set our image view dot image equal to info, which is a dictionary, a string uh, key, key value dictionary, uh, and UI image uh, picker controller original image. So that is what we're going to do to get a hold on our image. And that should be all we need to do for this to work. Uh, actually, I lied. We need to actually do two more things. We need to cast as UI image, and we need to actually present our controller. So when we hit the take picture button, we will present, modally present, our P 
picker controller, animated true, and a nil completion handler. So let's go ahead and test that out and make sure everything's working. And we're running now on the iPhone 5, the real device. So I'm going to go ahead and open the application and try and take a picture. And Mr. Android is front and center. Let's go ahead and snap a picture of his green glory. And use photo. And he's back in the spotlight. And with our application working, that will go ahead and complete this tutorial. Using the UI Image Picker controller is really nice and convenient for making simple camera applications. But for more advanced cameras, we will have to learn how to use AV Foundation, which we will be covering in future tutorials. And as always, you'll find the final project on GitHub. The link is in the description below. And please feel free to check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Both links are in the description. And if you liked the video, please go ahead and give us a thumbs up. And most importantly, subscribe for more future tutorials to come. Thank you for stopping by.